Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. We are back with another edition of Ask the Sheriff. And today we have Sheriff Myron Green in the studio with us. So how are you? I'm good. Good, good to, to be back. You. It's been a little while. I know, since you and I have done a segment together. Um, so it's good to see you and, and have you here because we are talking about heading back to school and kids' safety. So uh, first up, drivers. That's a big part of our morning commute to school. And, uh, you know, it's always a good idea to refresh the rules of the road. Can you just uh, remind our viewers what those might look like, especially in school zones? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, one of the biggest things that we tell people is put your phone down mm -hmm. and focus on driving. Um, that's, that's one of the biggest things. And certainly now that schools are in session, you have the school zones um, that have speed uh, school zones. Yeah. Uh, so pay attention to those school zones. Uh, many have flashing lights to alert you of them, and drivers uh, have to stop. Um, you know when they see the red lights activated for school buses, and they must stop um, if there isn't an uh, intervening space like a median strip in the roadway. Okay, and they have to stop no less than 20 feet behind the school bus, and then uh, also drivers must yield to pedestrians on the roadway at intersections and at crosswalks. And if sidewalks are available, many people don't know this, but if they're available, pedestrians must use the sidewalks. Okay. And if they're not available, then pedestrians are required to walk against the flow of traffic. Um, one more thing is that uh, drivers, a new law that was passed several years ago, um, that drivers must uh, pass bicyclists on the roadway with a minimum of three feet distance between them. Okay. So that's again to keep bicyclists safe. And then lastly, bicyclists must follow the same rules of the road or the same laws as motor vehicles, except obviously the ones that wouldn't apply like speed limits or equipment on their bicycles. Okay. Right, because we don't expect them to go 30 miles an hour. Um, right. So, you know, these are great reminders, especially because uh, we pass, I myself pass a lot of school zones on, on the way home. So it's good to know these things. Uh, so tell us, voters in Midland County recently passed a new millage uh, for school resource officers. They did. Can you tell us a little bit about what the purpose of, um, or th what you hope to achieve with the, the placement of those? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, you know, we want to thank the Midland County voters because they passed it overwhelmingly yeah. uh, by a two to one margin. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, a lot of what the SROs do, they're value, very valuable in the proactive first line protection. Um, so just having a uniform there and potential uh, violators, you know, seeing them there, yeah. hopefully that would uh, dissuade them from doing anything wrong. Uh, but also they assist in evaluating and updating emergency operations plans and doing security assessments of each school that they attend. Yeah. Um, a large part of what they do also is uh, build trusting relationships with students and staff so that if they have an issue, they feel comfortable going to them and talking to them. Um, Very good. And then the, the big ask that we have of anyone uh, through this school year and at any time is if you see or hear something concerning say something. Let someone know whether it's a teacher, an SRO, mm -hmm. a parent, or anybody. Just let us know about it so that we can act on it. Yeah, the, the, the more important, I guess, uh, or sharing that information sooner rather than later is Correct. important. Okay, so uh, for uh, safety concerns when it comes to the school year, do you have a message to the community as, you know, they trial tribulations during this first week? Sure. Um, you know, obviously the first week is, is stressful and people are returning to the classroom and parents are dropping kids, uh, you know, on and off at school. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing, too, is that uh, for parents, uh, give a little grace, have a little patience with the schools and law enforcement. Uh, if there is an issue that involves students, um, you know, got to have faith in our uh, administrators and in law enforcement that they're taking care of the situation and they can't always let everyone know right in the, the very moment it happens. So, um, you know, don't, don't take to social media and start blasting things out there because mm -hmm. then that just gets everybody nervous and scared. And uh, up. so that, that's a big part of it. Very good. Sheriff, this has been great. Thank you for coming it in. Is, is there anything you. else that you want to share with our viewers? Ah, I'm, I'm good. All right, sounds good. All yeah, right. we appreciate it. And uh, if you would like to also ask a question to the sheriff, make sure you send it to us at WNEM at WNEM.com, or you can send it to our social media. And be safe out there.